All right, so we've got uh, Daniel Dark. Dark is DK Daniel Samus. <coughs> Not easy matchup for DK. Samus has pretty good spacing tools. Spike, yeah. Grab is good for edge guarding. Can't really get comboed. Heavy and floaty, so grab doesn't kill early. Dark Daniel. I don't know why Moon wanted to go on stream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I didn't, I didn't actually watch that one, but I figure. So, what's going yeah. on with Kiro? Uh, I, I don't know where my phone is. It's somewhere. Um, so I guess I'm not surprised that this is a matchup that's happening. Maybe Daniel just decided to play uh, Samus today. Wait, who who sent uh, who sent protagonist to loser side, Daniel? Uh, you did. I haven't played the. Oh wait, th he's on winner's side. That's right, because he he played you, right? Yeah. Oh, you you played him. Yeah. 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 yeah he beat my Luigi two one. Um. So Daniel's just played Sunflower and now Dark, but he's gone Samus both times. It's a tough matchup for uh, for DK, but definitely doable. <laughs> Meerkat. He had to bank Hero's mom just one too many times. Oh, he missed the down air! Wow, Samus snuck in there. He didn't, he didn't even fade it out that much. Oh, double dunk. Last stock, magical 64%. Uh, oh, yeah, he got a little too close to that down air. I think Daniel's going to get this one. Oh, he gets in the air. Daniel establishing himself uh, in low tier superiority, maybe? I'm gonna set this. Daniel Stang, Samus. Is he doing? Is he going Kirby? Is he going Falcon? Is he going DK? Is he going Puff? Samus is pretty strong against Kirby and Puff. The uh, Dark Horse busting out the uh, the rarely seen Kirby. Three, two, one, <coughs> this is the gym killer. Hey, watch out, Daniel. This Kirby beat gym money. So you'll probably three stock it. <laughs> oh, the back air. Oh, just getting dash tacked all over the place. Uh, this is a good catch from Daniel down there to back air. Kind of slid off that uh, side platform. <coughs> oh, just barely grace that charge shot with the man. <coughs> Daniel's uh, got pretty good fluidity with the uh, the platform movement. The Samus. Oh, he laid a bomb for whatever reason. He's able to sneak in there. Yeah, and Kirby. Kirby can have a pretty e easy time edge guarding Samus. Really, all you have to do is um, make them fade back and just hit the up here with a down air. Kirby's down air pretty much beats it. Oh, Daniel's catching him with a lot of the front facing down airs. <laughs> and again, he gets punished for trying to lay bombs. Oh. Shield pressure, he gets a shield break. What's he gonna do with it? Is it nothing? Is he gonna do nothing with it? Uh, he down smashes, so pretty much nothing. And he just goes for the down air, yeah. Down, down, yeah, down tilt isn't very good against Samus, but down air on her recovery, very strong as Kirby. Another shield break. What's he gonna do with this one? Is also nothing? Oh he, tr oh, he tries to go for the up air to F smash, but Samus is a little too floaty. 
The up air has set knockback, so it can chain in, uh, chain into a lot of things at low percent. Now it's all tied up. Oh! Dark not getting in these, uh, pivot up tilts. It's just, uh, front facing up tilt. Oh, he catches him with that one. That was a good shield drop from, uh, from Dark, but he gets his grab parry by Sam Suppy. Goes out the nair, tied up completely, 66%. Oh, he misses the down air and gets it the Whoa. second time. <laughs> Kirby edge guarding Samus is so good. You can just throw out two down airs. Brutal. We gotta. We gotta see if um, the Samus is better than Jim Money's Fox. <laughs> yeah, I already, I already went there. I said, uh, said uh, this Kirby beat Jim Money, so Daniel will probably restock it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, oh, he goes for the nice, suck up. That, that just, that I can't believe that dash tag like yeah didn't get trapped <laughs> into the grab. So the Samus dash tag. Like, what so the heck? Good. Yo, ban Samus dash tag. <laughs> God, imagine if you just banned moves instead of characters. <laughs> it's just like, all right, you can play as Pikachu, you just can't use uh, up air. Up air's not even Yeah, Daniel gets baited. Oh, it didn't seem like there was enough hit stun on that weak back air to chain into anything, but Daniel didn't react to it at all. I like the nair into the down tilt on the side platform. It doesn't really get anything. No nooching whatsoever. Anyone who nooches. Oh! Yo, Daniel! Oh, come on! <laughs> he goes for it all and throws it all away. Uh, Dark I think you do run, fast fall, jump, down air, rising down air, uh, pivot, neutral B, up air, up B. He could have gone back, I, but I he, did the, he did the falling down air. Yeah, I thought you. No, he. I thought he fast fell, fast fall the down air. I thought that's why he died. I thought if he just did a walk off down air, he would have been able to turn around because he would have well, had. Did a he fast fall? That was his Yeah, because if you. But if you just fast fall, then Samus rising, is, da rising down air, you'll be fine. Well, that too, but like. Well, no, maybe, maybe. I just feel like it's so much safer. You can just like walk off down air and then jump, pivot. The, the problem is though, you have to be very delicate because you're dashing off and then you have to like right. lightly push down. So if, if you do just fast fall jump you rising down air, uh, you can just buffer your uh, down air through the jump so you don't have to worry about um, you see, worry about like missing, you know. Things like these are why Stranded and Janet are so good. Because they know how to do that walk off That's down what, air. You know, they're not that good. <laughs> <laughs> they, they are so technical, man. That's why they can do cool combos. That's why they can't make it out of pools. I guess Stranded makes it out of pools. If the pool was like me, Kiro, Z, Wizzy, you might not make it out. LD, Revan, <laughs> Pyro, Pyro's Ness. Pyro's Ness. <laughs> oh, yeah. like a legit Ness. Well, I mean, wait, wait, wait. Yo, at multi game majors like uh, Genesis and SmashCon, and when we do the thing where we uh, like pay for top, get top melee players entry covered, are we gonna cover Kiro and Stranded? <laughs> <laughs> no, they're gonna be top melee players. Yeah, yeah. Yo, Daniel, killing us again. <laughs> um, yeah, what's going on? So why are they, what's why are they like quitting for melee? Uh, I don't, I, I really didn't quite understand it. It's part of it was like because we didn't do Kiro, four stocks. Kiro, because we like the, it's hard for people outside of the game to fall in love with it, and not enough people are like doing enough to promote it. Okay, yeah. okay, I would agree that not enough people are doing stuff to promote yeah. it. The people not falling in love with it is just because we haven't been uh, delivering the game correctly. We've right. constantly pushed off as this nostalgic side event by other right. multi game majors. We're not getting like legit production. I, when, I, I think when Revival of Brawl did the thing, yeah. all these big time like, people, production people, said, We'll do a trailer for you. We'll, we'll, we'll put you on an article on Smashboards and all these other, like, Melianami will do an interview and all this right. stuff. They're, like, these other production companies are trying to hop on it and. And they're not doing that for us. Like we're not getting. Right. It's not about the Twitch views. It's about people willing to like actually do work for us, and no one will. Oh. So we have to do it ourselves. Preston's doing a good job, but there's just like ten people in the entire community producing anything. I, I think the biggest. And thing, I think that I think that's one of our biggest problems. The biggest thing about the post was uh, 
I, I think it, it regards the game in his mind. He feels that the defensive options are too strong and there's not there's like no incentive to approach in this game at the highest level. And he thinks people are starting to realize that. Well Japan still approaches. Yeah, that's I mean he, he just is wrong. But I mean like I I think it's defensive options are very strong. But <clears throat> I think as we optimize our approaches, we're very good at defensive options, but None of us are very good at our offensive options. I think that's why Japan beats us. It's not because they don't approach. It's because their approaches are just better than ours. Yeah, they also capitalize on touches better. Well, it's very yeah, efficient. They're, they're efficient. And that efficient ties into having a better approach game. Um, I don't know, Peru's pretty aggressive, and uh, you know, Alvin beat everyone super wounds, so. Yeah. Oh, man. How did he get that grab? DK invincibility. Oh, and he parries the neutral B with the up B. And that killed him. Forward throw kill. All right, so we're going to get up next. Me and, uh, Dane. You and Dane? All right. Yeah, hit. 